about that because now we can talk between tractors like we've never been able to. And third and most important in my mind, we are, we have new shirts, but there's a really, really um, good meaning behind them. So these are, it says, thank a farmer for your food, thank a veteran for your freedom. And it's got this nice flag with a cedar on it, with a planter, whatever you want to call it. And then our logo on the front, and it all comes in navy blue. If we sell a thousand of these shirts right here, um, Kaz Gear is donating $10,000 to the Farmer Veteran Coalition. So that's huge, and I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys go check those out. I'll put the link below, and it is going for a great cause, obviously. left I don't want to get it wrong uh, but we don't have a lot left at all we finished a couple um, smaller fields on Sunday five fields left so pretty excited about that um, we were just on the news like half an hour ago they came out when they did a story on in my farm girls it's exciting because usually when the news comes out they um, film the pumpkin patch and they did us today so that was kind of cool and it's really hot in here. It's November and quite literally 55 degrees. People are zooming down this road. Don't know the speed limit around here. Anyway, I'm gonna head to the next field now. Um, you guys know the drill. I've got the dump wagon, and um, we again can't. Well, the dryer can't really keep up. So here we are at the dryer. to veterans and military veterans um, to kind of start their career in agriculture. Of course we need the military, of course we need farmers, and these are two fields that are very important and it kind of just um, gets them started in a career in agriculture. So I think that is really cool um, and I hope that you guys look into purchasing one because I want to donate as much money as possible to this coalition and if, you know, maybe like half of you guys ordered one, we can even go over our goal. So. I hope that you guys consider that and I'm going to go dump this load. Pull him out. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but he 
we accidentally went through a waterway, I think. Like the edge of it. It's pretty soupy. So. I'm backing up to the combine and then we're hooking a chain up to the end of it. So maybe he can back out of it. I don't know. I wish I could get better angles for you, but I have to. I'm going to try to. And we're probably gonna wreck us some corn here. Don't tell my dad. But we've done so good at not getting stuck or anything. And of course, on the last day, Mom is gonna probably throw her in reverse and we'll try to get out that way. What we're going to do here is I want you to go nice and easy, go straight your wheels out, and uh, we'll see if we can't get out of this hole. Let me know when you're ready. Hey, just listen to me and uh, we'll go from there. Go ahead and uh, give, her a, give her a little talk. That's really well in the mud, so yeah, that's a little hole we got stuck in. Okay, um, I'm gonna let you pick your own chain up. It's hooked on the back of your uh, left side and the rear end. I'm gonna see, there's gonna be a little corn standing here, so good deer feed, yes. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Probably should just leave the chain on here, but you know.
Sean told me that he is an opportunity that I have to go by himself. Because it's pretty small and it's like on the road, so it's kind of a bad spot for a dump wagon to be. And so I get to go home for lunch. And then I'm gonna we're gonna combine our corn maze next. And I think we're gonna try to combine our sunflowers. I heard. I don't know if that's really gonna happen. 